had catalytic converters stolen. All right. On several occasions. From this car park? Yeah, so wow. Obviously, if you're trespassing on your property, it won't be very well. Just walking past this building here, it looks unusual, and I noticed this little gap in the bushes. And it's uh, got a car park, which I've never seen a car park like this before. Uh, just in the far distance down here, you've got cars parked in the air, like on a lift. That is bizarre. So it's all underground in this section, just normal car parking. But then at the back, you've got that. Look at that, man. So you've got like uh, a lift where the cars will drive on. The cars will drive on there and they press the button and it lifts them up. So two more cars can park underneath and it goes all the way down there. It's like I bet they ran out of car park spaces. So they've got this, uh, this canopy lift contraption installed. <laughs> that is amazing look at that up in the air so yeah while you're at work oh you can't go underneath and uh, inspect your exhaust or change your oil all right but and it's all protected by a key and an emergency stop button but I've never seen that before it's like uh, you're in a different country you expect to see this in a different country don't you but I've never seen this in the UK maybe you have I don't know Maybe it's just my lack of uh, car park experience. But yeah, I just thought that was interesting. I'll go around to the front to see what this place is. Let's get a video out of it, eh? Looks an interesting place. Looks like there's some sort of uh, security gatehouse over in the distance. Let's take a closer look. Right, let's go see what this place does. So it turns out that this place is actually Ashfield. Ashfield House and Ashfield Engage, which is some sort of pharmaceutical company and to do with uh, marketing and customer experiences or something like that. I can't work it out from the website. Uh, but yeah, it doesn't look like much is happening at all. The car park is pretty empty and they don't see any sign of life at all. You've got a reception in there. Ashfield... Oh, Ashfield Healthcare was founded January 1997 and was opened by Samantha Corbin, the director and co-founder. This got some smart, smart lines on this building. It's uh, very unusual. And there's a security lodge here. No sign of life in there at all. A few more cars around this area. And like a smoking area back there. And another one of those uh, car park lift things. I wonder whether Covid's uh, forced them to work from home. I don't know. Quite interestingly on the site, they've got one of these air ambulance clothing banks, which is obviously uh, available to use by the public. So we're certainly allowed on this piece of ground. That's really nice architecture, that building, ain't it? How it goes over like that. And it comes all the way up here. Very unusual. Sorry? Just having a look around, being nose there. Yeah, can anyone use that closed bank? Yeah, I just went, went to have a look at that. I like how you've got this um, car park lift thing to create more spaces. No. You don't see that very often, do you? No, no, purposely built. Right. Did they have to get it in from a different country? It 
checking. Yeah, yeah, I'm doing it. That's really interesting. I go round anything interesting that I can see that's publicly accessible, like the clothes bank and the car park. So that is really good. That's a really good idea. And I, I would have thought that that had been brought in from a different country because I've never seen that in the UK before. What do you know about it? Do you know anything about it? Go on. Go on. I'm interested. They must have been, um, brought that technology in from a different country. What is it? UK, UK um, manufacturer of that sort of thing. I'm not asking about your pharmaceutical uh, business, am I? I'm just saying about the car park. No, no, I don't know anyway. Right, well, are you security, are you? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not many people working from it. Are they all working from home? I saw the dips and drops. Yeah, but COVID must have forced some working from home, surely? Yeah, obviously. Yeah. yeah. Is it normally quite busy here then? Car park quite full? No, no. no. There's hardly anyone, is there? It's coming yesterday, it'd be totally different. Oh, what, because it's Friday? Yeah, I'll just go back here. What I'll do, I'll stand here. <laughs> I'll stand right just here and I'll, I'll finish off my video. All right. On certain occasions. From this car park? Yeah, so wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so do, uh, to know to do. Oh, yeah, so. yeah. You're doing your job, mate. You're doing your job. Obviously, if you arrive in a I mean, sort of... I had a chat yesterday of it about near that uh, air ambulance bit. All oh, right. And I went around the back, and when I challenged him, he says, oh, we were looking for the exit. But all these potential clubs will come up with any bullshit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, look, do you know, because um, you're a nice guy, uh, this is what I do. Um, you see on YouTube, that's me, DJ Audits. Right. You see, do you go on YouTube at all? No, I don't. All oh, right, I go round um, industrial sites, industrial right. estates, and anything interesting I can see. This this architecture of this building is so no, unique. No, no. Yeah, and do you know how the car park? You see, I just saw some cars like hovering in, in mid air, and I thought, what? Oh, yeah. So I, I walked along your Stone Edge, and I, I took a quick oh, shot of those. No. And then the fact that you're actually supporting the air ambulance, I've got a direct debit that goes out each month supporting oh, them. No, no. And without our support and without you allowing them to put that clothing bank there, they yeah. would really struggle because they don't get no government yeah, support, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah like you were saying about the Catholic conversion, so you got car washes one side, there's car washes the other side. Oh, and right. I'm sure we're being clocked. Right. And I'd be 95% sure that they've got some new uh, stolen cats. Right, okay. Did they actually arrive in vehicles? On the first occasion, I drove in in three high-powered vehicles, went straight to the racking, went to the boot, got tools out, went to work, within two minutes and took three off. Because underneath the racking, where the cars are lifted up, it's solid, so you can't actually access the exhaust, can you? I can't answer that. No, I've just been under, it's solid. Yeah, well, Officer Rockstar said, don't let me catch you on side again. Yeah, no, it, the thing is, right, do you know the law? Do you know when it's publicly accessible and there's no barriers, anybody can wander on? Yeah, yeah. When, you, when you approach them and ask them to leave, yeah. at that point, it then becomes trespass if they don't leave. And did you know this? Did you know this, right? Yeah. Do you know if they don't leave, you have got the power as security yeah. to physically remove them? Yeah, yeah. You know that, don't you? I mean, the thing is, though, because it's working out, is that's why I haven't got the barrier. Oh, the chain? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But so, even so, still, do you know down at the edge where you've got that little yeah. gap between the bushes? That's yeah. a vulnerable security point for you. I know it's vulnerable, but it's a fire. Yeah, but when you've got... Fire exit for the, the thing with that is, when you've got nobody working on site, you don't yeah. need a fire exit to be open, so you can close that as well. Yeah, well, unfortunately, we can't close that off. No, just with a chain. Just with a chain. Yeah, but, I mean, that sort to of the company. Yeah, I'm just letting you know. From my experience... Budget. It's their budget on that. Yeah, I cover a lot of sites and security yeah. is getting very, very good. But where you've got open access like this, yeah, I mean, it makes we, your job hard. We, we can make suggestions, you know, down to facilities. Yeah, and yeah, and yeah, yeah. You ain't got an easy job, have you, mate, living, uh, working so close to, as you say. Um, yeah, and it's ain't that. I mean, even in the middle of the night, you get fucking skateboarders, living out, we had fucking graffiti artists on site. 
So, you know, don't think I'm being mean when I'm nah, a pro shop. I'm not I'm taking it to heart. I'm giving you a few examples. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, unfortunately, everyone has to suffer. So, at yeah. like the springtime, these trees are like um, Japanese blossom. Are they? Yeah, and you get many people coming on site to take photographs. What colour do they go then? Pink? Yeah. All oh, right. Yeah, people like Japanese and blossom. So like I say, unfortunately, you know, it's you don't make our job. Yeah, you know. you're just working at a place which has got. But at the same time, so if you come along and just say that, then as a normal human being, you think they ain't doing no harm. But yeah. sometimes it might be fucking laying up the yeah the premises. You know, yeah, so, you, you know. it's your job to be suspicious, yeah. and until you find out more, yeah. then you, you you've got to be suspicious of everyone, haven't you? Yeah. yeah. But yeah, I think it's a beautiful building. I, I, I really like how you're doing your cars. Well, is, I really like that, how you're supporting them. Oh, right. From Liverpool. Right. And uh, the lady died about two or three years ago. Right. And the old man's retired. I think he's gone into school. I saw the lady's name on the plaque. Yes, sir. Yeah. So she's died recently, yeah. No, well, not of COVID, please. They're the ones who died establishing this building, sort of thing. She didn't die of COVID, did she? No, no, right. she did. It just didn't happen. Sort of right. Thing, you know? Just old age. No, she wasn't at all. All right. Probably about mid fifties. What? So she actually purposely built this? Her and husband. Yeah, wow. Yeah, yeah. See that thing in the window? If you, if you look for me, you can see through the glass, especially when the lights on. Like an animal figure. Not the, not the normal glass, the stained glass. Stained it looks glass. Looks slightly too right. Up. Oh, it's a bit dark, but. But when you did you think, well, they moved it now because put the Christmas tree. Oh, right, so. Normally, you can see a, an animal figure. Right. And what it is, obviously, a lot of people curious who stand there glaring, isn't it? All oh, right, and it's um, half banana, half lamb, and we call it a lambana. A lambana. Yeah, <laughs> it, uh, and it inspired, you know, the, the self care business. Right. Because it's half lamb, half banana. So right. they had a big statue made. I think it was a, a Japanese woman who we'll imagined some kind of exhibition. Right. Because of our, how our mind works, a lot inspirational to what these do. You know. Right. So that's it's a big green. It's half, half banana shaped and half lamb shaped. Right. Yeah, they must have moved it as you say because I can't see it through there. But yeah, as you say, it might be more prominent at night. Anyway, we'll, we'll shove it back. But when you walk past at night, it'd be long yeah, long. yeah, I'd have you a see look. See the silhouette of it. Well, see, you'd only get to see it probably if you went to the reception. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, thanks for talking I'm, to me, I'm, mate. I'm, I'm going now, anyway. No, I'm not going for market. No, you're fine. I'll, I'll just give you a few tips on what we have to put up. Yeah, sort of yeah. I, I'm quite unusual because I'm doing no harm. But people that I do understand, people that no, do come on here, no, yeah. they've got other motives, haven't they? But yeah, thank no, you very no, much, mate. Features, and you. Good. <laughs> have a nice day, mate. So yeah, that's uh, very interesting talking to the security guard. The lady, uh, lady's name on the plaque that we read over there. She actually purpose built this place and her inspiration for starting up the business, she's had a statue made of it, which uh, you can't see because the Christmas tree's there. But it's all interesting stuff, isn't it? And we got there in the end with him. At first he says, I can't tell you anything, but you just talk to people nicely and hear their point of view and understand what their job entails and you know things that they have to go through. You, you, you come on the same level then and you start to get good conversation. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed that one, guys. Uh, stay safe, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye for now.